This is obviously a picture of caramel corn. And when I have caramel corn, I think about <laughs> baseball for some reason. And I think about baseball, I think about hot dogs. I don't know what you think about, but you want to talk about some of this stuff? Well, I know what we're going to learn about. And frankly, I, uh, <laughs> I relish the opportunity to <laughs> catch up on my, I gotta catch up my learning here. Oh, you stole all the jokes. All right, let's learn something then. Nephrolithiasis. So we're going to do a paper called Ultrasonography versus CT for Suspected Nephrolithiasis. Hot diggity dog. This is a really great paper where they basically evaluate the efficacy as far as the initial diagnostic imaging modality when you compare CT versus ultrasound. It's not just ultrasound by itself, but ED, point of care bedside ultrasound versus radiology or ultrasound. Can I just stop you and say that there's like a Rorschach in that that <laughs> nephrolith right there? I see babies. I see like maybe a cow. I see... No? I, yeah, I, it almost looks like the creature from Alien. Oh, yeah, it's kind of come ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, sorry. I'm with you. I can't stop looking at no, it. No, yeah. Well, I can't so look this away. This was a pretty large multi center randomized uh, study. And the primary outcome for this was looking at the 30 day incidence of high risk diagnoses with complications that may have been missed. Ooh. And so things like ruptured appendicitis or ruptured aortic aneurysms, pneumonia, urosepsis. Uh, pyelonephritis, ovarian torsion with necrosis, things, bad things that you could possibly miss if you didn't get the CT and just got the ultrasound. The other primary uh, outcome they're looking at was accumulative six-month radiation exposure. Secondary outcomes they're looking for were serious adverse events that caused morbidity and mortality to the patient, and of course, metrics like how many people were rehospitalized, bounce back rates, diagnostic accuracy of the imaging modalities, and pain scores for the patients. Ooh. The measure of diagnostic accuracy and success was determined by two things. One is if the patient self-reported that they actually passed the stone, so or if it, the stone was surgically removed. Mm -hmm. Um, with regard to, oh, ah, surgically what? removed. Surgically removing nice it from the no-flush urinal. No. 